hopefully it didn't sound good. <laughs> what is up, internet? How are you people? Happy Lord's Day. Today is Sunday. Current time is 10.34. Been up for about two hours now. Had a long day yesterday. Was very tired. Didn't sleep till about 2 a.m. Still a little bit on the tired side, but it is what it is. We got some blueberries. Thank you. If you guys told me a few years ago that groceries getting delivered to your house would be a thing, I wouldn't believe you. Lena last night placed an order to cook us some spaghetti. Poppy corn chicken. <laughs> Cheese. We got some Bertoli. Vineyard marinara. I probably did not say one of those words right. Yes, she's making pepperoni spaghetti. Let's freaking go. Of course, we have our pack of uh, ground chuck. I guess you're not gonna get more real of a vlog than this right now, right? <laughs> So let's try to get back to where we were earlier. Is that good? Bear with me, guys. So anyways, if you guys are new here, you probably don't notice. For the veteran vlog watchers, you guys most likely already notice. I don't like releasing vlogs publicly on the internet until I've watched it first. The reason I like to watch it first is because there's a lot of mistakes that sometimes I'll miss some mistakes I leave in, it'll be perfectly fine. It'll be like a, <laughs> oh my God, I'm so crazy, <laughs> whatever. And then sometimes it'll be like a huge, huge mistake. Like for example, I went to Best Buy and the lady asked me, what's my rewards number? And I gave my full cell phone number on the vlog. Now, thank God I caught that before anyone saw it. The video had literally zero views, but that's just like an example of what could happen. Put the video on YouTube, but it's in the private section. So let me go to my YouTube app real quick so I can show you guys what I mean. When we go to the YouTube app, you go to your videos, and under your videos, you'll see there's a lock, and the other one says draft, and sometimes it'll say unlisted. Nobody could see these except me. So what I do is I push this little arrow that's on the top. I'll press connect to my TV, Nivix room, or no, nope, wrong TV. I'll connect to my TV and then I'll press the video that I want to watch to make sure there was no mistakes. So this church barbecue video is not that important to watch right now because I just had a church video. The last upload was a church video. Now, if I just keep putting church video after church video after church video, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose subscribers or people are just not gonna watch the videos and then the channel is gonna suffer a little bit. So I'm gonna have that video come out probably in a day or two. I want like other videos in between the church stuff. So for example, full day vlog, right? That's literally, you guys are seeing like really behind the scenes. That's. There's no thumbnail, there's no title, there's no description or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do, now I'm gonna take the screen recording off. Okay, so this is the Roku app. My babies keep taking the remote control and throwing it in their toys and stuff like that so we can never watch TV without that remote. So Lena found out that you could get this app and it'll let you control the TV. That's fantastic. But then, as I was messing around with the app and stuff like that, I noticed that there's like a little headphones button. So I didn't know what that was until I plugged in headphones. Do you see how it changed? So right now I'm in the front and I'm gonna watch my vlog. Now I'm trying to be as quiet as possible. My kids are in the room sleeping, the babies. So I put these headphones on and then I could watch the vlog on the TV as loud as I want because it's coming through here. So by using this app, 
I'll hear what's on YouTube in my headphones. So as you guys can see, there's no noise coming out of the TV. But if I bring this headphone closer to you guys, you guys should be able to hear it now. So if I move the headphones away, you're not gonna hear nothing. But if I bring the headphones, that is a really cool feature to have, especially when you have babies that are sleeping. I am going to watch this vlog, uh, make sure everything's okay with it, and then uh, be able to upload it today, which is Sunday. So whoever's watching YouTube on Sunday should be watching the vlog that I'm reviewing right now. <laughs> this is confusing stuff, yeah, because this vlog that I'm filming is not gonna come out on Sunday. Today is Sunday, this vlog is gonna come out soon after. Sorry for the weird angle, I'm literally charging my camera right now. But I just got through watching the videos. Uh, videos came out good. No errors, no mistakes, no sensitive information. So everything's good to go. I'm gonna right now make some thumbnails for those videos. See what happens from there. Now that we're done with the thumbnail, we go to content, go to details, and let's just fill this out now. What a gypsy does. Doesn't sound right. I want to do like a full gypsy day or something like that. Slash chat GPT. <laughs> hey guys, so forgot to mention something editing the video right now. I don't use chat GPT a lot. I think this is the second possibly the third video that i asked chat gpt for help the reason i don't ask chat gpt for help is because usually i know what the video is going to be about so like if i'm going to the mall name and mall vlog if we're cooking cooking vlog but this video i was trying something different i want to do like the whole day of a gypsy romani or whatever i needed a little bit of help on what to name it and what kind of description to put just to like test the waters a little bit because my vlogs get a certain amount of views every time I upload one. So I thought, let me try switching it up a little bit. Let me get like professional health and see how that works out. So I don't know if the video is going to flop or not. I don't know if it's going to be great, but I just wanted to try chat GPT to give it a shot. The last one or two videos I did with chat GPT didn't really make a difference. So. I figured try it one last time. So yeah, whatever you're seeing next is not what I do for every video. This was just, I don't know, something to try to be different. I guess that's good, but I should have made like a more of a list. So let's do that. Let's put that away just for now. Give me Fires the city lights. No, that's not what my vlog is about at all. I think I like this uh, first one here. A day in the life of a modern gypsy. Of course, we'll edit it in a bit because it's not a full 24 hours. I mean, I think that's good enough. Let's go back to chat BT. Description for that. Chat GPT is very, very scary. Let's just copy and paste it and then we'll edit it ourselves right there. Join me on a journey through my day. Get a glimpse of when it comes to this YouTube stuff. I don't know if you guys are interested, but I'm gonna share it anyways. So in this vlog I just made, we have this issue right here. I don't wanna share money with the person that made this song because we have a license to use this song. So there's no reason for me to share revenue with this person. We already paid to use this. So we're gonna click select action, dispute, I have a license. 
So then we're gonna go to where we downloaded it from. My downloads. See where it says in lo-fi. So we're gonna click on this just to make sure this is the right track because a lot of the times this website people just name this tracks the same over and over again. Yeah, that's it. So let's go back. Yeah. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to download license. You download that, you select all this license, paste, and then it puts all the information. My video does not infringe on the copyright. I understand that they're not review this. I understand that filing fraudulent disputes will destroy or terminate my YouTube channel. That's very important. You don't want to do this unless you have a receipt or a license or whatever. So then I'm just going to type in my name over here. That's it. Just wanted to show you guys what it's like to do that. Just in case that video blows up and gets like 10,000 views, I don't have to share any of the ad money with the person that made this haul because we already paid him for the license. 12 seconds later. We literally just put up the video, right? Like just now. There's two views because if you guys remember, we watched it on my TV earlier. So as soon as the video went live, somebody clicked on it and then they gave it a dislike. So they literally watched about 10 seconds, not even, and they gave the video a thumbs down. For those of you who don't know what that means, that means we have a hater. Uh, that's pretty embarrassing. That's what you want to do with your time. You don't like my videos. You just want to click them and then click dislike. And then that's it. That's, that's very weird. I feel bad for you. Right now, I'm going to get the Mrs. Uh, Tomato Buri. See, one time I said to one of my uncles or one of my friends' fathers, who we pretty much all call uncle. In my family, anyone that's older than us is uncle and aunt or kako and bibio. We don't call anybody by their names in my family, in my group. So, either my uncle or my uncle. <laughs> I said to somebody a long time ago, I said, my wife, and they all got mad. What are you saying? Why are you saying that? You're not supposed to say that. Che bila jano, like in a joking way, right? But like a little bit serious, like they're trying to correct me, but like they were joking about it that they got that offended by it. And the main thing they said was, you're supposed to say your buri, tomato buri, meaning your guys' daughter-in-law. So I'm not supposed to address my wife as my wife. I'm supposed to say, the model buddy, she wants a little coffee. So I'm going to the Dunkin' Donuts to get her a little coffee. If they don't have donut and caramel pin, then get me the chocolate muffins. Those, like, the little chocolate little Your call has been forwarded to an automated There's no reason for this little girl to have a phone. There's Nine, no reason. Five, four. Every time I call her, she never answers. She answers. Hello. Daughter, do you want anything from Dunkin' Donuts? Uh, just hash browns. Just hash browns? Yeah, we're going to church. Uh, we're finding that out now. Could you put Mama on for a sec? Because she's not answering her phone, so I could ask her something. Question, are you starting to cook or no, so I can know if I should get something from Dunkin' Donuts? Later, so get yourself okay. Alright, but a little donkey donuts. Daddy. It's not called it Dunkin' Donuts nor now, it's just called Dunkin'. Daddy. Is That's it corn, weird. Is a corn muffin? How can I help you? Hello, can I get a Are medium you? hot coffee with cream, Splenda, and French vanilla? Alright. Do you have plain corn muffins? Uh, we do not have No corn muffins? No. We have chocolate and we have coffee. Do you want chocolate? And muffin? we have blueberry. 
chocolate. Alright, you want chocolate though, huh? What do you want? I know, but then I can't get Do you want a croissant? No, you just get me the hash browns. Let me get two orders of hash browns. I really wanted a corn muffin after Bobby said corn muffin. And I can't have one now because they don't have any. That's pretty I can't terrible. Have one. Yeah, but who cares if you don't have one? Well, if I. <laughs> well, Dante, if I, did, if I didn't say I wanted corn muffin, I'm you would have one. I'm joking with you. I care that, like, if they only had one, I would have said, okay, give it to me, and I would give it to you. I'm just joking. So my daughter just showed me that there's Walmart uh, shopping carts here, but the Walmart is not really that close by. That's weird. Thank you. Could we watch one? A glazed donut. I wasn't expecting the video to be that clear, by the way. Thank you. Could we watch a video? A hot coffee. Thank you. Why does it say DC on there? For a show with DC. Perfect. Thank you. You know? You too. Cash rounds. Can't see it, but there's a croissant in there. I didn't get myself nothing from Dunkin' Donuts because I didn't really want anything from Dunkin' Donuts except the corn muffin, which they didn't have. What? You know why I hate being in the... I really want this. Excuse me, do you know if you're getting any more of the sandwiches that usually go here? Or? Uh, this, I can ask them when they're coming out. Yeah, please. Gladly. I want the sandwich that's here. Well, just it's a shame call I'll never be here early enough to try this. It really does. Like, yeah, I mean, uh, the pepperoni one? That's one, right? Uh, Alright, never mind. Thank you. I am so disappointed. I'm so hurt. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. And it's too bright outside. Now I gotta use my ND filter. <laughs> Where are you? Oh. Right here. Right. So, uh, what's well, called? you wasn't friends with them till recently. I always used to see their father in church. Wait, he used to you... come to church a lot. But how come you never told us? I didn't know he had daughters. Until today, I don't even know their names. I keep calling one of them Sonia. Mm -hmm. But they're not Sonia. Uh, <laughs> what's their names? There, there. Got a donation. <laughs> So Wawa's didn't have what I wanted, Dunkin' Donuts didn't have what I wanted, but we got some Raising Cane's with their special Thousand Island style sauce. What kind of sauce is this? Like Thousand Island's dressing, right? Thousand Island? I don't even know what I'm saying. Thousand Island sort of dressing. I'm scared that it explodes if I put it down. Alright, today I'm doing laundry and serious cleaning. Okay. I can't wait. Could you let me know when you're gonna cook and I'll film it and we can make you like a first video of how to make delicious spaghetti and pepperoni? Sure. Okay. I mean, Lena's Cuisina. <laughs> I'm gonna take my food in the room because I know what these kids are gonna do and I'm starving. I've been up since all morning. You guys watch, enjoy. Gotta escape with my food. Later. Okay, so I just 
recorded Lena cooking. I did like a top down view. I put the camera like up here and I was holding it because I don't got nothing up there to hold it. But wow, did that look amazing. And I'm talking about just looking at it from the camera screen. So I can't wait to see what that looks like blown up on my TV or at least my MacBook screen. That would be amazing to do a video series like that. I've been telling Lena for us to do it. But you see, I edited the video so far since you watched it. This is what it really sounds like in the background. Yeah, it's kind of hard to cook and film videos while the kids are doing a disaster. Camera was up there, right? If I could have gotten a rail system, <laughs> I know that's like pretty serious. Uh, for those who you know, camera equipment you guys know what I'm talking about for those who don't imagine like a steel bar from there to there right it's just one long metal piece right the camera clips onto it and then you could leave the camera up there and you could also push it so for example she's got two burners on right now so let's say the camera was right here right and now we want to record this thing but the camera's too much this way all you would do is just move the camera like that and it would be at this burner that would be like so cool and it's not really that expensive to do it yourself i could make one very easily i've seen people on youtube make them it'll cost me like 50 bucks if i make it myself if you buy a professional one that's like really easy to glide and stuff like that you're looking at a few hundred dollars probably oh under the tree let's go next to the window so we can wow. have some lighting so I just took my sweater off because it got really hot out of nowhere. It was cold today in the morning. It was like in the 60s, 70s, and now out of nowhere it's like 88 degrees outside. Don't know how that happened. TV is very loud. Let's go in the room. Today is Sunday, and we're supposed to be going to church, and I really want to go to church today. But two things are stopping me. One is that if you guys have been watching the daily vlog and stuff like that, you guys will hopefully by this time that vlog will be up i'm not sure i got kind of mixed up with how my vlogs are coming out one of my vlogs show how we had to walk out of church because the babies were crying having to leave church while there's preaching going on because your babies are literally screaming because they don't want to sit down is a little bit embarrassing but embarrassment to the side right everybody knows we're there for god we're there to worship we're there to pray we're there to learn the word of god it's just the fact that Everybody else around us is getting disturbed and they can't hear the preaching now. So that's pretty much why we leave. We could just take them in the hallway and try to calm them down. Especially at the barbecue vlog, the kids were crying so bad because I guess you can't really blame them. We were there for like four, maybe four and a half hours between going for the barbecue and then the church service. So I mean, it was like three hours, whatever the case is. <laughs> It's hard going with one baby somewhere, not two babies. Now, for example, if we go to the mall or something like that, you're pushing them, the scenery, the motion of the stroller, they'll stay a little bit more. But when you're in church and you're just sitting in one spot and they don't got toys that they want to play with or they don't got their TV show or they're fighting over a toy or we try to put the iPad on for them to watch like Spider-Man or Miss Rachel in church and then the iPad volume's full blast, it's just not really a fun experience. And then another thing that stopped me from going to church today is supposedly there's a Rom from the Tema. And I don't understand Romanes as it is. I'm very bad at that. I was actually thinking like of making a series where I find someone to teach me Romanes. <laughs> Understanding American, Americanized Romanes, Gajik American, is hard enough. So now add Taminga Romanes. Not easy for me to understand at all. Just so you guys could understand how serious it was for me to get that angle. <laughs> That's why I put this on. But this is our food. It might not look as appetizing as it is, but I assure you, this is like the greatest home cooked spaghetti you could have. Now, something I like to do with this food is I like to cut the pepperonis in half because I think they're too big to just have it all in one bite. Mm. 
That's a horrible angle you're recording me at right now. Look how bad that looks on the How did you bad? I feel bad dropping off Taylor to church and not walking in the church. But the situation of what we've been going through is not fun, especially when you don't really sleep that much. From basically twins, we have Irish twins. I know I said that a lot, but in case anybody new here, passing the church and not getting in. Passing the church and not going in is weird. That's a weird vibe. I don't like it. I don't like this feeling. By the way, it is really freaking hot outside. So, if you guys ever wondered why I don't film my whole entire day, yeah. Yeah. it's because of things like this. Like, all we do is just go from one store to another. We'll go to Publix, we'll go to gas station, we'll go to Walgreens, we'll come to Target. That's our life. So that's why I try to only film vlogs like when we do something important and fun. And then a lot of times when we even do something important and fun, it don't come out right because let's fix this situation real fast so back to what I was saying even when we do the fun stuff like yesterday for example we didn't get to go to the rodeo we missed it we didn't get to eat what we thought was gonna be there so that vlog just like it just didn't work right at all so every day bad because of Walmart Target Publix gas station Walgreens that's it and then when we finally do something fun we have the babies with us like this little guy <laughs> we have the babies with us so we can't even film right or do anything right like for example I didn't get to record me eating food yesterday because holding Frankie in one arm and a fork in the other arm do you have to drink a Red Bull after you had coffee today I need it I know but we don't need to be in the hospital again like we did last time to my soccer if you're watching this call your daughter put a stop to it because she don't listen to me when I tell her certain things like health wise she don't listen coffee and red bull shouldn't be had in one day your hair is so long son see lena was saying just now let's get this to make popcorn but there's like literally nowhere to put it. our house is not that big maybe if i had like a man cave and there was a table in the man cave it would have been cool but even then like how serious of a popcorn lover do you have to be to have this in a man cave to be good? Follow mama, follow mama, follow mama. When you're in the paper towel aisle and you see that, that's pretty gross. <laughs> I don't know what this big giant one. Son, do you really have to like get your foot out of this piece? I'm scared you're gonna get hurt, son. Just leave your foot there. Thank you. I'm teaching my brother. You happy baby. You guys are randomly in Target with me. Yes. Look at these things. It was an Eclipse and a Lancer, right? Eclipse and Lancer. But it was twelve dollars. I don't want to give twelve dollars on two cars, but I'm not gonna lie, I wanted it like real bad. Get this kid out of the way. Do you want me to meet you to go pay for stuff? Or are you still shopping? Okay. All right, come to the toy aisle when you're ready. But where's those cards? Nothing. Board. How are you, Kev? I love you, Kev. I love you too, man. Why are you driving that? Let me see that camera. Is it fun? How long is this? Oh. Got his own yeah, where I go, I'm getting shocked. I forgot I have an MF moment. You guys are coming with me. Know. When life gives you lemons, you take those lemons and you put them somewhere the sun don't shine. A long time ago, I was reading a book. It was about uh, 
uh, the Greek mythology, the Zeus that we serve. Oh my god. He felt all Michael, give me that. I have a feeling JoJo's gonna run over the camera. Greek mythology is the way. What? Man, lost his mind close. Any particular reason you're going through a toy aisle? Nothing. <laughs> when you feel like there's just no going on, I don't know what to tell you, Fred. Just stop crying your face off. That's a lot of shocking. I'm getting more touching you. Yeah, I'm full of electricity. Guess how much megabytes you just waste. Yeah, like. Hey, camera, she's overheating from JoJo. Mm. So apparently we have five dollars and nine cents off. Thank you. Thank you. You too. You too. The world famous Target Ball right here. Millions of people have seen this Target Ball. Hey. Yep. Do you remember when I had the thing in my purse or every time I went into the store? Yeah. Someone put that in your purse, you know that, right? It was a prank, because there was no reason for that thing to be in your purse. Someone snuck it into your purse and was in one of the stores. This Target, if you guys didn't see the video, somehow, some way, my mom crashed her SUV, uh, which was a Cadillac Escalade, right onto that Target ball right there behind me. We don't know how. Uh, so many things should have happened that should have not allowed the car SUV to land on the target ball like that, but somehow, some way, she did it. So yeah, very weird time of our lives. So our Target run is over. I guess I'll see you guys at my mommy's house. Yay, Uncle David! Hey. Hi, Uncle David! Yay! <laughs> Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Well, today we're gonna eat our barbecue. I know I talked to you earlier, but uh, I'm gonna lie like I'm opening up the packs again. You see, back in my day, <laughs> these kids weren't as disrespectful. What he doesn't know is like 90% of the beach is not going in. I'm just gonna take little clips. Hi. Just little clips here and there. That's funny. That that I do is funny, Kevin. I can't put. Well, yeah, but I'm not saying people in <laughs> I'm saying they're <laughs> they'll pay money for this Mayor, car. Who's Mayor? Just people from <laughs> I know I look a little sweaty. And then GameStop. Oh, we're barbecuing. I don't care. Jesus died for my sins, too. But other than that, I'm not the world's most electrifying man. He said I'm targeting the most electrifying man. But not no more because I don't got the card. What's your opinion on Caitlyn Clark? Caitlyn Clark? I knew exactly what I was talking about. Caitlyn Clark? She's hot. I'm a basketball freak. What's She's hot. <laughs> but She's the next <laughs> best thing. Yeah. There's no... There's no cutting that out. <laughs> Winds up is my kneecap pops out of place. Muriam, I'm on the floor. Eating chili money, That's eating pork really chops. Mean. Everyone knows, get off my chops. Well, welcome to J Vlogs. This is uh, the first episode. I just ordered a camera. It's got the furry things. Yes, it does. Not chat chat. I'm lying. I know I'm ugly, but I'm cute. It's like if you see me, I'm a little loco. Do we got Dijon mustard? I don't eat mustard. Oh, that's a weird bug. Kill it. Oh, Chicano, Yo, give me a calendar. Say a word of encouragement, thought. What? This is my cousin. Word of encouragement, say something. My cousin, immediately after. <laughs> Why did your camera got taken? <laughs> no, how much is the Nike? Really? Yeah. So she's gonna have Nike shoes? Yeah. What? That's the one I thought he was talking Who's about. Who's gonna have Nike Air, shoes? That hot girl. Air Jaitlins. 
What's her name again? I keep forgetting. Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. So Kevin. we're going to be Eric Clarks. Kevin. Right, ain't macho. Like, I'm eating, man. I'm not hitting you. <laughs> so now that when they the got guy, a James Harden card, give away. No, so now, when, so now when the guys go on the trampoline, they're gonna hit the trampoline. <laughs> the car's gonna go right up, land in their neck, they're gonna cut them open. It's a giveaway. Yeah, I'm, I got a given heart. Exactly like that. An only dog. Check that out, guys. Hooked it up. Lost your mind. <laughs> Matthew, if we shaved your head, mm -hmm. right, for like one of those spin the wheel, win five thousand. Yes. Like, would you be sad, or would you be happy because you just won five thousand? Take my 5k right now. So you'll shave your head, no problem. Yes. For 5k. Yeah. If you give you me 27 dollars right now, I'll shave my head. 27 dollars. Legit. You ready? The cheapest amount I'll shave my head for, like cheapest, real deal. 2,500. The reason I won't go that high <laughs> is because my hair is junk, anyways. Like my hair is real thin, like gaka. So like cut out whatever. If I shave, it's not the worst thing in the world. You give me anything over a hundred bucks, I'm doing it. Oh, anything over a hundred? So right now, me and the boys make a... a, a, a what do you call that? A, a tilly. Some kind of thing where you put all the money together. I don't know. Anything over a hundred dollars, I'll kitty. take my head live. So me and the boys make a kitty right now and put up a hundred and one dollars. There's one, there's one extra, extra large play beef. I put it on the top rack. No, I was going to burn. Please rewind it to the Caitlin Clark part. Well, I mean, I could rewind it, but you're not going to hear the speakers like ah, we can God. just. Does what that gorilla does. So that me gorilla and so so I don't remember him saying that. Jelly. I'll get the suitcase. Show him what he was talking about. <laughs> Go ape. Hey. Want him or not? No. And stranger. No, no, yeah, yeah, I want him. Right. Strangers now at seventy-five. I, I never, I never put him on the board. We would never. Ever. My hand right now. Build on five. Oh. Build on six. Is that trees only? Jelly. Oh, no, that's six. Sorry. If this was me and you from like three, four Number years ago, I was like 14, it was 15. Kevin, what you build on my ass? <laughs> <laughs> you see, the trick is with this game, when Michael tells you you made a build you can't do, just tell me <laughs> Terrible advice. No, it's good advice. I know Michael's a, calm, he's a hard humble man, but he's also a beast when you go f leave so. him. Are you saying that to me or to him? <laughs> Whoever has to hear, let them hear. <laughs> Science is Beijing. I don't know. Me and Michael's playing Egyptian poker, I believe it's called. A plane to the only When Jesus Michael got back. three queens. Everyone's gonna see him the whole world. I pulled out I the last card of full house. The world is okay. amazing. It's impossible. Bad beat territory. That's why I think the world's a. She's coming, Gwen! Hi! I'm Greek mythology. Seeing your wheel, baby. When she throws up the camera. baby. Ah, <laughs> uh, you are getting a passport. Well, what is this? I was trying to make a video in the car, but I didn't charge the camera today, so it died out. So I just charged it a bit. <laughs> Finally home. I had a very serious cheat day today. I had Cane's chicken leftovers from yesterday. While it wasn't a whole order, it was a decent amount. Then Lena made spaghetti. Then I had barbecue at my uncle's house. And then just now, on the way home, I went to Wawa's, got a milkshake, a Oreo cookies and cream milkshake. And now I'm trying not to eat anymore, but Lena literally just bought like 20 snacks next to me. But I can't see it. So, so feeling yeah, that was my day. We're gonna watch this movie and call it a night. And I could hear the Peace out, stay safe, God bless. And See you guys. I went to get out, but I could.